You know what's cool about the rankings on Hack the Box is you can get to a certain rank where it unlocks the ability for you to apply for certain jobs on the platform. So, you know, like let's say I wanted to go to be a security engineer at um, Intruder. I would have to be at a certain level before I could apply for that job. Now, some of the companies that partner with Hack the Box to offer, you know, job postings through Hack the Box are uh, they don't have a requirement, but most are like hacker or pro hacker rank. So let's say I uh, pro hacker. I want to limit it to that. I couldn't apply for these jobs because I don't have the pro hacker hacker rank on Hack the Box, but I have hacker rank. So there's more jobs that I could apply for on Hack the Box. And I, I definitely think there's some futuristic. There's some this is futuristic right here. Because you already have the gamified element that's sort of within the Hack the Box universe. But then you have the real life implications that that can have. So you're ranking the higher it is on Hack the Box, the more oomph, I guess you could say, it has in your career, or the more it has a certain credibility to it then, right? Because it's part of your resume. Like, what? Bo- let me see what boxes they've done. And you would, you would imagine that the people that are offering up jobs here on Hack the Box are n- familiar with Hack the Box already. They know what kind of person uses Hack the Box. It's they're dedicated and they're willing to put in the work, right? I think at one point I was up here and I even saw TikTok had jobs. Yeah, look at this. I mean, they, we're not talking, you know, unknown jobs. We're talking like good jobs. So this is one one reason, one of the main reasons, I think, and not, not the only, but one of the main reasons you should strongly consider participating in these seasonal machines and these ranked machines because they earn you points to where you can rank up on hack the box and it might qualify you for some jobs on hack the box